M. Smith, good evening. Does anyone know, are there any brokerages that let more people, not just huge accounts, sell naked calls or puts? Yeah. Yeah, there's brokerages out there that will do that. Um, you got to be very careful, though. So, I had an account with TD Ameritrade. This is a major warning story, okay? I had an account with TD Ameritrade. They gave me the option to do naked calls and puts. I didn't have any issues with that. I actually thought it was awesome because it doesn't use very much collateral. I made the mistake of thinking after GameStop blasted up the first time and came back down that, you know, it was hanging out down around $47 that it was done. And I thought, oh, I've got about $8,000 extra dollars in my account right now. I could sell a few naked calls of GameStop up around $100. Make a little tiny bit. I could make like the premium they were going to, or, or the collateral they were going to require was about $400. And I would make about $20 selling a call at 100 bucks. I just happened to do that on the same day that it decided to break out again. I had I sold these calls two days till expiration. And that night, the share price shot up. My $400 collateral on all of these options, I, I had sold like 11 or 15 of them, something like that. My collateral went from $4,000 for all of them up to $270,000. Ouch. Those options that I sold, they gained in value that evening and I couldn't I couldn't get out of them because the market had closed and the share price kept going up. Share price went up to like $187. My those options that I sold for $11 ended up at like $30,000 per option that night. They went up in value like 75,000%, something like that. It was, it was some enormous, you never want to see that happen. This is the warning. Don't sell naked calls. It ain't worth it. It isn't worth it. You got to cover yourself. Because what happened is that all happened after the market closed. I couldn't do anything. I called TD Ameritrade. I said, hey, uh, I'm going to need to roll these because we know the price is going to come back down in a week or a month. I just need to roll it out and we'll just wait for it to come back down. And they said, well, we can't do anything when the market's closed. Call back in the morning. I was like, okay. And they said, we'll make a note on your account that you're going to do this. I said, okay. I called back in the morning and I called back before the market opened. GameStop was already on its way back down. It was down at like $111. Those options I had sold were way worth way, way less than they were the night before. Still, still a lot and more than the margin I had available. But it, this is like, I'm on the West Coast. Banks hadn't opened yet. I, try, I called in and I had an hour and a half wait on the phone. Two minutes before I got in touch with somebody, they started liquidating my account. By the time I got on the phone with somebody, I was frantic. I'm like, stop selling my stuff. All we need to do is roll my calls. I'm going to be fine. I will get some money put back in this account to cover my margin. All you got to do is roll this out. Nope. She was like, oh, I need to transfer you to a different department then. I got to transfer you to uh, our margin department. I'm like, okay, do it, but stop selling my stuff. She put me on transfer, another 15 minute wait. And while I was on hold with them, they sold everything. Liquidated my entire account. Pissed me off. I was so mad. I was so mad at him. <sighs> and that's the risk when you run margin. They have no obligation to give you the opportunity to put money into your account. No obligation. So for people who don't have that money readily available, 
you're screwed. If you don't have enough money in that account, you're screwed. I couldn't even wait until the banks open to move money. Couldn't do it. And they sold out of my position. And two days later, so they wouldn't let me roll it. I was trying to roll it while I was on hold. It wouldn't let me roll it. Two days later, at expiration, I would have I would have actually lost, if I didn't roll it and I just waited, I would have lost like five grand. As it sits, they liquidated my entire account. I lost like $100,000, $140,000, something like that. I was very not happy. Still not happy with them. That was TD Ameritrade. Other than that, I actually liked them. I had talked to them before. I had margin calls before on them. And they told me, we generally give you three days to cover a margin call. Even though they don't have to. They generally give you three days. They didn't even give me an hour into market open <laughs> when something spiked up overnight. So let that be a warning to you. Um, had I not sold the covered calls, I would be I would be a much richer man today. <laughs> had I covered my calls, had I had I just had I just bought a call somewhere around there, not gone naked, I could have covered it. I could have covered it by buying something around there. I would have been fine. But I didn't, and uh, lesson learned. So that's that. That really sucks. Learn from my lesson. Don't repeat it. Um, you got to be really careful. Yeah, TD is owned by Charles Schwab. You got to be really careful selling naked stuff. Naked puts are okay. I would still absolutely do naked puts. So check out TD Ameritrade. Just know that uh, if you don't have enough money in your account, they can and and will screw you over. <laughs> but they do offer. They do offer those things to people if you, if you know what you're doing with options. I just didn't have the funds of readily available to cover any margin, so to cover to cover all that margin call. Um, who would have thought? It was like a 500 year flood happened uh, one month after the last one. I wasn't expecting it. Lesson learned. So be careful out there, folks. <laughs> Hope you found value in today's video. If you'd like to find out more about IUL and the whole life, check out these videos right over here, and we'll see you next time. Now go maximize your cash flow.